Hey there, I'm Rose Raccoon AJ and today in this Animal Jam video, I am going to be sharing with you tips on defeating phantoms and the results from defeating 1000 phantoms. This will include screenshots, total number of sapphires, gems, percentages of each item category, and I will be doing this to see if I can get an alpha item too. Hope you find this video useful, let's get into it. Alright, so when I'm talking about defeating phantoms, I'm talking about the phantoms which you defeat that come from phantom hell potions. If you'd like to learn how to defeat those, I would recommend watching the All About Potions video in Serapia Forest. Time for some tips. With your first hit on the phantom, I recommend standing directly underneath it so you can be sure to hit it and get the reward. There is nothing worse than finding out you didn't actually hit it and getting no prize. When saving paint seeds, you should try to buy as many paint seed trees as possible, as after getting a whole bunch, you can collect all the paint seeds, have a whole load, and then you can resell the trees for the original price. The best place to drop phantoms is in Affondale. Many people drop them here and with good reason. It is a simple land area where it is easy to spot nocturnals, shovels and flowers. If you have a spare account you might want to consider bringing it to help defeat phantoms. Of course it would have to have paint seeds and a paint seed launcher, but it would double your reward. However, having to focus on two accounts can be hard and it's probably a good idea to bring one in a not very full server so that you can still contribute on both accounts. Also, so that you are not taking up the space that other people might want. Defeating phantoms is the best way to get XP. The maximum amount of XP you can get in a day is 3,500. However, you can break this rule when defeating phantoms. When landing the last hit on a phantom, the one that defeats it, you will get a load of XP, usually from 25 to hundreds. You can get a whole load, sometimes it even gives you more than it says. If you are yet to get the daily 3500 XP but are kind of close, so you have 3450 XP, after landing the last hit on a phantom, you can still get more than 50 XP, so say so you might get 200 XP, and then your daily amount could be 3,650. This only works if you're under the 3,500 daily, so after getting more than 3,500, you will no longer be able to get XP. Alright, now it is time for the 1,000 screenshots from the 1,000 phantoms I defeated. It will show you all the rewards I got from defeating them.
So that was the results from defeating 1000 phantoms. I did not get an alpha item, but that's okay because I probably should have defeated more. So now it's on to the total amounts of the different kinds of items I got. So in total I got 256,000 gems and this was 214 lots. So 214 of those screenshots were gems. This is equal to 21.4% of the phantoms I defeated. In total I got 336 sapphires. This was 56 lots. So 56 screenshots. This is equal to 5.6% of the phantoms I defeated. I got 199 crystals in total. 61 red, 65 blue, and 73 yellow. This is equal to 19.9%. I got 141 potions in total, which is equal to 14.1%. Pretty much half of these were phantom how potions, and then the rest I only got a few. I got 196 clothing items in total, which is equal to 19.6%. And I got 194 furniture items in total, which is equal to 19.4%. I found this very interesting to do, because I think I learned that gems, clothing, furniture, and crystals all were around 20% where sapphires were only about 5%, and potions were 15%. So perhaps that is kind of the way they've made the percentage rates of those items dropping. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my YouTube channel so I'll know to post more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!